Hello, and welcome to my reaction to the first episode of Last Exile, Ginyoku no Femme, or English title, uh, Last Exile, Femme, the Silver Wing. So yeah, yesterday uh, I finished the first season, for me at least, uh, but I imagine for you yesterday I posted the final episode uh, of season one. So... I guess I should do a quick recap uh, of my what I think of season one. Uh, maybe some of you haven't watched my reaction to season one, and you don't care. You just want to see reaction to season two. Um, so yeah, I enjoyed season one. Uh, my re my rating are uh, only at a hundred months, and I gave it an eight out of ten. I do think it was kind of a a roller coaster. Uh, sometimes it was pretty fun, and sometimes it was kind of dumb. I have had a lot of problem with it, the way it never explained some of the thing, like it it was really in the last couple of episodes that stuff like Alvis, the exile and stuff like that were finally explained. Um and still the ending was a mess, uh to say the least, between just the fake out on character deaths like Moulin, uh Dio's deaths like all these characters just for him to die like that. That was kind of a... Uh, yeah. Um, and then I had to actually read explanation to understand that the fucking exile like brought them to Earth or something. Uh, but anyway, yeah. So, um, Last Exile was from 2003. So, let's see what Gonzo did between Last Exile 1 and 2. Uh, start date. Let's see. Basically, from what I understand, they kind of were well, making a lot of shitty show, um, or something. And uh, I guess they needed money. Uh, where is Last Exile? Okay, uh, they made. Let's see. From what I've seen, at least, um, they've made a lot of show. They've made games, which was a pretty okay adaptation. Uh, Sanabuzu, watch only a bit, but it seemed fun. They made Gankutsu, which was amazing. Speedgrapher, which was trash. Uh, Basilic, which was amazing. Um, okay, a lot of other shows that I haven't seen yet. Okay, oh, I'm already s seeing that uh, Basically, I had read a comment saying that uh, uh, they, they made nothing good between season 1 and season 2 of Last Exile, and I guess that's why they didn't have money, but already I don't agree uh, from what I'm saying there. NHK no Yokoso, okay, another great one. Uh, they did the OVA for Strike Witches. So I guess they did the show, let's see. Uh, they did Afro Samurai, fucking hell, okay. Whoever said they did nothing good between the two is pretty retarded. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of shows that aren't very well regarded that I haven't seen yet, so I can't really comment on them, but still. I'm seeing some pretty good stuff, okay. They did Strike Witches, 2008. Um, Afro Samurai Resurrection. Okay, and then last things. Okay, so I haven't even seen half of what they did between season one and two, but still, I'm seeing a lot of great show. So I'm seeing they did a lot of other show that I haven't seen. So maybe it's the case, you know. But also, what I've read is it's kind of mixed. Um, I've just checked like uh, quickly the the top of the review of people to see like the general idea, and it's mixed. Some people really like this sequel. Uh, some seems to say that it was shit, but I've read from some people that it's not just a cash grab sequel. Uh, it's pretty good. So yeah, I guess I'll see it for myself. Uh, I haven't read the synopsis or anything, obviously. Um, so yeah, uh, I guess let's check one thing. Is it the same director? Uh, director for season one was. Uh, 
Chigaraguchi. And here it's Chigaraguchi. Okay. Uh, obviously, it's the same character designer. Uh, Muraga, no, Murata Range, I think, is his name. Uh, love his stuff, as you guys know. Uh, Last Exile, Copcraft, uh, Blue Submarine number 6. So, yeah, this one is 21 rather than 26. It aired in 2011 2012. Um, what else is relevant to look up? I mean, clearly, I've only seen the cover, but the characters are different. It's a sequel, so the question will be how long is a sequel of a sequel after the event of season one? Um, yeah, not much else to say. I guess they look way younger than the main character in the first season, at least on the cover of the uh, that I see on my enemies, they look younger. We'll see. Uh, enough rambling. So, if you want the same version as me, you go on Yatorrent, sort by Seed, uh, let's take that Ginyu Kuno fan, sort by Seed, and it's the CBM version uh, in parentheses. Uh, it's, let's see. It's uh, 11.7 gigs. Um, so yeah, it's called uh, CBM, Last Exile, Fun, the Silver Wing, 121 Complete, uh, Dual, Dual Audio, Bedelib, 720p. Alright, enough fucking rambling. Let's watch it and see if it's any good. Uh, I guess one more thing is we'll see. Obviously, as we know, the landscape of uh, of an image change between season one and season two. Uh, mainly, I'm kind of worried about production value. Um, will they still be using good 3D or will it be shitty 3D? Um, you'd think it would progress over the year, but actually, I'm more worried of it going to shit compared to season one. Anyway, this time I'm done. Episode 1, um, Japanese audio, English subtitle. Twenty four minutes thirty seven seconds is this episode. All right, enough for doing three, two, one. All I can say is hopefully it's good. Well, should I say nice? Okay, that's some extreme uh, consequences for sleepwalking. Fucking hell. At least they know about it, that's why she stayed up. Okay, character naked. Okay, somewhat from the guild. So I guess the kill is still a thing. With new character. From the opening, 
It looks pretty amazing. And the short scene at the beginning, it was 2D, but really good looking too. Yeah, the question is, is how long after of a sequel it is? Will we see character again? Open five, yeah, okay. It's a really small one. It's so small compared to Klaus and uh, Levi's Manship. Sounds like Joe. But I don't think so. I mean, it's not confirmed he died. In the comment that I read for the last episode of First season, a lot of people were debating whether or not he died. I wouldn't be too surprised if he's not dead. Red uniform, that's different. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I really like this too. The music is pretty good too. Shit, what the fuck is going on with the moon? Why is there so many moon? Holy shit, okay. So they have uh, a dad that's alive, that's nice. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't die. And that doesn't send them on a quest. I mean, kind of looks like Dior. Oh, it's absolutely Dior's voice. Absolutely. And that's the exile. I'm still rather disappointed by the ending of the first season. I hope they learn from that. Knights. Field. I 
get some pretty extreme uh, praying. Well, we're starting pretty well. A lot of cute girl. And you know I like that. She did say that. At this federation. Technically, there should not be any war anymore because uh, this is and uh, well, the two sides made peace and alliance, and the guild was defeated. But I mean, it depends on how much time there is because obviously, no matter what, there'll always be a new war. But I mean, if that was due, it shouldn't have been much time. Oh, she was a girl. Okay, I didn't notice her. I don't know why I assume it was a, a guy. Well, that's even better. So it is you. And he seemed to be his old self. Something will go wrong. And what age is that? Skyfish. I mean, at least this is only episode one, but they, they definitely so far didn't fuck up. That really looked amazing. I guess we'll have to see in a really fast action scene at the end of it. that I 
don't think anyone will know. Man. That's a shot. Holy shit, this is good. Okay. The shit design is so freaking sick. So they're gonna save the princess. That's a weird design in this ship. Sky Pirate. I was kind of wondering what they are. They're clearly not postmen like uh, Close and Levy were. Pretty straightforward. Okay. could tear right away. So they're like a reconnaissance venship for a bigger sky pirate ship, is what I understand. Yeah, okay, regular van ship. Oh no, okay, they're pretty small actually. Oh shit. So they have a system of Arpoon. sure about that. <laughs> he 
kids still doing that. I hope so. Okay, it just cut into the ship just like that. I mean, I still think the ending of uh, the first one was retarded, but I'm glad that Joe is alive. Joe was a character I really have grown to like throughout the series. So I'm definitely glad uh, we can get more of them. see where this is going and this should be pretty good they're gonna I guess have an alliance with the sky pirate for the war this should be fun I don't know 
I thought the first episode of the first last exam was already pretty great, but this was even better. Uh, you guys may or may not know, depending on how much of my reaction you watch, but my favorite genre of anime is Kill Girl. So stuff like Yuru Yuri, Gabriel Dropout, Itamari Sketch, um, and countless, countless other. So even when I watch a show that's not a cute girl show like that, I'm always looking for cute girl characters. I don't know. Uh, I just love them. Uh, so yeah, all I have to say that this one is uh, promising to say the least. The two main character, the side character, everyone is a cute girl. So for me it's even, well, not everyone is a cute girl, but mostly. Okay, it's time to check the voice. And I can spoil myself. Well, it's not that much of a spoiler because we already saw Dio, but I guess I just saw in the character list that uh, all of the old characters are there. So I guess we'll see them. Well, I couldn't really avoid that. So, um, is there. Okay, it's not a preview. But there's a preview in the background, so I'm not watching this, okay. So let's check the voice. Um, I definitely recognize them. Uh, let's see if um, Toyosaki Aki definitely know her. What did she do? Let's see. Uh, let's see, she was... Uh, Princess Charlotte in the Berserk movie trilogy. Uh, she was. No, okay, who cares about that? She was M Momiji Omura from doc Dr. Stone, but that's not that important. Oh, she was Aoi from uh, Euro Camp, that's good. Oh, and she was Yui in Karen, okay. Uh, I, she definitely sounded familiar. Now I know why. Um, her friend, Colette Giselle, voiced by Yuki Aoi, also sounds like a name that I know. Uh, she was Takagi Megumi in Trigatsu no Dayan. Uh, she was two years three from uh, Boku no Yo. Alright, that's a big one. Lingo Chan in a uh, Danshi Koko Sinonichi Jo. That's a good one. Uh, she was Victoric from uh, Gothic. That's another good one, to say the least. Uh, anything else or not? She was Jian in Nanatsu Tadzai. Uh, okay, she's a big deal. Um, so let's see the princess. Okay. Uh, Tulan Mille Mille to Welsh Kutrel Kutretola. Fucking hell. Voiced by Kayanoi. Yeah, okay. She sounded familiar. Uh, Akali from Trigets No Lion. Uh, Meko Menma from. Uh, Anoana, Kaga from Azure Lane, Atago from Azure Lane. Um, she was Ori Kanade from Chira Fulu. Uh, Clement Anna from uh, the OVA of Code Kiss, uh, The Exiled. Oh shit, Tsumiko Mikan in Dongan Rampa. Uh, yeah, okay, a big deal. Uh, let's check her sister. She's not on the top of the character list, so I have to scroll down a bit. I've already been spoiled that a lot of the character will be in this one, so I guess it's fine. Um, I'm searching for the older sister. 
I guess she won't be very important. I'm not finding her. Okay, I found it. Turan, Liliana, to Quasioso, Melio. Voice by Sawashiro Miyuki. Uh, let's see. She was Kamate Taki in A Channel. Uh, she was uh, Atsuko the 13 in Akebi 0048. Yes, yeah, so Masami in Angel Beats. Um, oh, she's uh, Kambaru from the Monogatari Tsuri. Good stuff. She was Slam, uh, one of the Apostles in Berserk. Uh, she was Kanan in Kanan. Uh, she's Fukawa Toko in Danganronpa. Okay, that's a good one. Uh, Celti in Dularala. Virgo in Fairy Tail. Yeah, she's a big deal. Alright. No need to look at more. Okay, uh, good cast to say the least. Uh, I don't think there's anyone else I need to check. That seems enough. Uh, yeah, I mean, absolutely impressed with the first episode. One of the things I was worried about is that the show would look worse than the first one, you know. Um, but it doesn't. The 2D is great and the 3D is really amazing. That was the first episode, so there's always the possibility of it falling apart. I'd like to believe it won't. Um, Last Exile didn't for the most part. I mean, there was once in a while, like, an episode where there was, like, a minute or two of not great animation, um, more more the 2D. But as a whole, it was a pretty uh, um, consistent show. So, yeah, uh, I'd like to believe it won't fall apart. That would be nice. Um, Story-wise, I like the setup. I mean, of course, it has to be another war. Um, I like that the character seems to be different. Uh, they don't seem to have a dead family to drive them, or they don't seem to be like uh, just good people being postman. They're sky pirates. I guess they can be good people. I like the idea. Uh, hopefully, we'll get more presentation of everything. Um, Joe is alive. I've been spoiled by looking at the character list, but all of the other characters are alive. But clearly, seeing Dio, I mean, it's obvious. Um, it doesn't even look that much older, so we can only assume it's not been that long. Uh, maybe a couple of years? I don't know. It really doesn't look that different, so... Um, what else? Yeah, I really like the character so far. The main character of the princesses. Uh, this is good stuff. Anyway, what else can I say? Um, no, I think that's it. Really fun. I'm really hoping it doesn't fall apart. Obviously, uh, that can always happen in a 20 more episode show, and it's original. But yeah, for now, thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.